Hey guys, how's it going? Brian here from Saltfish TV. Today we're going to be talking all about the BioCube 32 gallon filtration and this one specifically and how I've been running it for at least four months now. Let's check it out. All right, here it is the BioCube 32 gallon. All the light channels are on so it's nice and clear. It should be coming through nice and clear for you. Um, yeah, so I skipped on cleaning the glass because you know, it's real reefing. I want to show you what's going on in this tank, you know, day to day. So we were battling the bacteria bloom. If you don't remember that, I'll put a card up here at the screen or I'll put the link in the description below if you want to check that one out. We used to have the UV sterilizer in there, but I've had it taken out for at least, I want to say two, three weeks now. And I've only been doing five gallon water changes on this aquarium. Uh, if you can see through the, <laughs> the dirty glass, it is actually pretty nice and clear. Um, surprisingly, it's nice and clear. And it's really great because biologic filtration is key, is what I always harp on. And sure enough, you can see that, you know, there might be some green on the sand bed, but I've been feeding and dosing uh, live phytoplankton which is why I also think is on this glass. But it's actually going really well. And without further ado, let's just see what's going on filtration wise. All right, so I'm gonna take this fan off, which I have hooked up to this inkbird controller and it comes on when it's 78 and turns off when it's 77 or 76, whichever one. Um, yeah, so it works really great cooling it down, but that's not the filtration, let's go. All right, let's see if I can get this camera up in there without it getting all wet. So I just want to show you how basic it is. I don't have anything sticking out. I'm not running a skimmer. Uh, it is, let's see if I can get this in there. Uh, get the best I can do with the angle and everything, with everything hooked up on this camera. Um, that's just a filter pad. I'm running just a filter pad and the, uh, what's kind of like C-Chem Matrix, but it's the Aquaforce Life Biofill, which is, it's basically the same media, just that they have it seeded already with bacteria. So that's all that's in there. It's just the filter pad on top and the biological filtration right underneath it. And I'm still using the stock tray that comes with the aquarium. Um, also, what I think that plays a role in filtration in reef tanks is your flow. Flow is actually really important. It keeps the water moving, keeping it filtered, and also it uh, speeds up your biologic filtration and gets all the nutrients where they need to be. So I think flow is super important and it's, it's a big part of your filtration. Uh, see, so like the way I have it set up, I have it on the back. We used to have it on the side here, but I found this to be a really nice uh, flow pattern. As it comes out, shoots across, hits the glass, especially with these corner or uh, curved glass corners, the flow just goes all the way around. So it hits the front and goes back. So it seems to be like a nice motion like that going on in the tank, which is actually really good. Um, I also, on the stock nozzle, I took off the uh, RFG or random flow uh, generator because I found, or at least I thought, that it was restricting flow more than helping because when I took it off, there was so much more uh, flow to be seen. And it also helps with surface agitation. If you see that up there, as of, as the water comes out of the, uh, the nozzle without the uh, outlet or anything, it's hitting the surface really well and therefore uh, having really good gas exchange, which is another uh, key component, or at least I think is another key component uh, for your filtration, is having really good gas exchange in your aquarium. Also, what really helps with this filtration in this aquarium is that we had this rock structure uh, provided to us by Art Reef Rock uh, cycling in or cycling or curing in our Rubbermaid tub that we had in the garage for at least three to four months. So I think that helped tremendously because once again, biological filtration is key. So I always say, or I always want to say, um, this is the proven method, I wanted to try it, uh, K-I-S-S. -S. I'll put it on the screen here for you. Keep it simple, stupid. Meaning if you keep it nice and simple, your filtration, your aquariums, it can thrive. And I just need to clean the glass and it's 
it's really, really clear once I clean the glass. And once again, just doing five gallon water changes every week. And that's it. And I'm still, <laughs> so I'm still rocking it without any fish. Uh, it's been like that since day one, but the inverts I think are tremendously helping with uh, keeping some uh, nutrients in there, I guess you want to say, uh, to feed the bacteria and whatnot, keep that going. But soon we'll be getting our clownfish out from the cave and into this aquarium. Uh, I am also feeding this aquarium uh, twice a day as if there was fish in there. So I'll put a little bit of food in there uh, from when I feed the cave and everything. So I think that helps as well with uh, additional nutrients for the uh, bacteria to thrive on. And the coral. Corals also help filter your water too because they eat the phosphates and nitrates. Uh, so yeah, so everything in this aquarium, in your reef, is your filter basically. Everything is a filter. Just think of it that way. But yeah, keep it nice and simple. I don't have any crazy equipment on here. A nice good wave maker for added flow. Your filter pad, your mechanical filtration. I'm not even using any chemical filtration. Speaking of all this stuff, let me show you exactly what I mean. All right guys, remember how I just told you I was going to show you some different filtration stuff? Well, here it is. Mechanical filtration. So you can use this, which is filter floss, or in this case, it's actually Sarah filter wool. Uh, it is a bit thicker than your standard filter floss, but along with filter floss, what you can use is pillow stuffing. It's the same stuff. It's the same stuff. Just make sure it doesn't have any like fire retardant uh, type deal going on. No additives in there. It's just straight pillow fluff, which you can pick up at Walmart for super cheap, or you can even go to like a craft store, which would it would probably cost a little bit more. So. If you got a Walmart, go to Walmart. This video is not sponsored by Walmart, by the way, just uh, FYI. All right, you can also use filter pads. So what I like to use, what you saw in the video, is filter pad, which is the uh, pinky filter pads type stuff. I actually got three rolls of it for like 20, 30 bucks, and it's like 10 feet. Well, it's probably even more than that, but it has lasted me a long time. One roll lasts me for like almost a year or at least a year. You know, just doing your weekly water changes and swapping out the pads in that way. Uh, I actually picked that up on eBay and it's actually a pretty good deal. So check it out on eBay if you want. Now moving on to something I like to call biological filtration, which is right underneath our filter pad on the stock tray in the BioCube. Uh, as you know, biological filtration is key. So here you go. So this is the media that I was telling you about just a second ago of what I use. Uh, what was it? Aqua Forest Life Biofill. It's kind of the same stuff as like the Seachem Matrix, but it actually has bacteria already seeded on there. Like they already cycle it or cure it before they pack it up and ship it out to you, which is kind of cool. But if you want to do the dry route, you can just get the Seachem Matrix or you can even crush up some dry rock and cure that uh, with your bacteria with your bacteria of choice. Um, I actually kind of like this one. It's the Instant Ocean uh, Biospira. It actually was created by Dr. Thames before he branched out and made his own product line. Now going into chemical filtration. Uh, what that means is something such as your activated carbon, uh, like this, what is it, Rox 0.8 carbon. This one's an aqua, aqua, uh, huh. Aquamax brand, but there's so many different brands out there, like BRS has their own brand. Uh, this is considered chemical filtration. It'll help clear your water, especially if it's got like a yellowish tint in your water, it'll actually filter it and help it um, clear up. And also it's really good to use if there's some type of weird stuff going on in your tank, like uh, you accidentally draw some chemical in there or some soft coral are actually uh, shedding or you made some zoas mad or something and you just want to soak up some toxins, activated carbon is really good for that. Another form of your chemical filtration is GFO. So GFO actually helps uh, get out uh, phosphates in your aquarium if you have really high phosphates. Just be uh, mindful and follow the directions. You can strip it really fast and you don't want to do anything too fast in a reef tank. But as you saw in my tank, it is simple, no chemical filtration, it's just mechanical, biological filtration. So I highly recommend, no matter what you do, when setting up a tank, is secure or cycle your rock, or even better, start with some live rock, you know, straight from the ocean. Well, thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button, or just hit the su subscribe button anyway. All right, and hit that bell notification so you know 
when I upload. All right, guys, well, this is it for the video on the BioCube 32 gallon filtration for our beginners series. Keep it simple, stupid, K-I-S-S, -S. don't forget it. So many reefers live by that and it is proven. As you can see, it's doing really, really well. And, oh, knock on wood, right? <laughs> Woo. With my luck, that could make it just go kaboom. All right, guys, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on bell notifications so that you know when I upload. Remember, guys, as always, just reef. And check out some other videos. Okay, bye. Go. Go. You're still here?